Hi, everybody. This is a quick video about the Gen Com 1 um, kind of midterm period that's happening right about now. So today is October 15th. At 3 p.m. today, you have objective four that is due. And then right after that, the next open pie review period opens until next Friday, the 22nd at 3 p.m. So the, again, the best way to study for your exam that's due next Friday at the end of that open pie review period is gonna be to first take the scheduled knowledge check and really use that as like a pretest. Make sure that you understand the topics and whichever topics you're struggling with, Alex will um, encourage you to practice during the open pie review period. Now, this might be some topics that you never got to in the first objective uh, attempt, like when it was due originally, um, and that's okay. Remember that you get two different scores. You get one score for being on time, and you get a different score for completing the subjects at any point, right? So you're always increasing your grade by working in Alex, um, even if you missed it on the first due date, okay? So sometimes I get requests for extensions, Sometimes they're legitimate. If you've been sick, you should absolutely ask for an extension. If you've had family emergency situations or um, all kinds of valid things happen, but you should be asking for that in advance as much as possible. Don't wait until things are past due to come talk to me. A good way to explain what's going on is to come to office hours. You don't need to make an appointment for that, but if you come by either virtually or in person, depending on the day, we can discuss a strategy to get you back on track, okay? Um, I'm less likely to grant requests for extensions when it looks like you haven't been working on things in Alex, okay? Again, unless you've been sick, you should communicate that at the beginning of your illness, ideally. But when I look into Alex, I look for effort over time. If you've been working on it and you're coming to office hours and you're trying, I'm much more likely to grant an extension than if uh, I haven't heard from you all week and suddenly you, you want to have extra time on the day that it's due, right? You can see how those two things uh, are different types of situations. I encourage you to be working regularly and consistently. And so part of that encouragement is when you can't get everything in and you've been working on it, um, we can have conversations about, about how to accommodate your schedule, okay? Um, so speaking of office hours, well, let's go back to the test thing first. So your exam two is due next Friday, the 22nd of October. It's gonna cover mostly objectives three and four, but there will be some topics from objectives one and two. So you might wanna review all my feedback that I gave you. Um, you can do that on the handwritten work by going to the gradebook in Blackboard and clicking the assignment you submitted. Um, I write comments in the comment section, which is kind of a typed part, and I also write on your actual PDF submission, so make sure to check both places. There's different grades for dimensional analysis, significant figures, um, versus, you know, getting the answer right. So make sure you're showing me all of your work correctly. For exam two, there's going to be some more dimensional analysis stuff, so make sure you know how to do that. If you don't, you should definitely come to office hours and work on it with me. Okay, so best study strategy, do the scheduled knowledge check, see what you know, focus on open review of the things you don't know to increase your mastery score. Then at some point between now and next Friday at 3 p.m., you need to plan for an hour and a half to sit for the exam. You should be writing down as much detail as possible the more information you give me on your paper submission, the more likely you are to get partial credit on things. This made a really big difference for some people on exam one, all the way some tests went from a D to a B. So this is a big deal. The more work you show me, the better off you'll be. You must use dimensional analysis. So if you haven't been, this is your chance. We cover those points this time, okay? My office hours today, Friday the 15th, are going to become by appointment only because I have state meetings with SUNY um, 
all day today and tomorrow, also yesterday. So I'm not available this afternoon. However, um, you can send me a message with your availability and we can schedule an appointment for some one-on-one -on -one Zoom session. And I also have my normal office hours on Monday, 1.15 to 2.20. Those are in person. But if nobody is there in person, I'm also happy to meet on Zoom if you'd like to arrange that ahead of time. Okay. One last note, we have a discussion board about the Nobel Prize um, that's up there. So if you didn't get a chance to answer that, please go back and do that. And next week, we're going to have another journal post um, that is going to open up after the, the exam is done. Okay. So for next week, your focus is any topics you haven't finished and doing that scheduled knowledge check and making sure you're ready for the test. And then you're gonna take the test next week. Come to office hours. It will help you, I promise. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next time.